Hope it ain't too windy for this, but a Woody, I'm just gonna give him the box. But I gotta get it away from over there so that uh, uh, I can get mail. The mail lady gotta put her put my mail over on that side of the road. So I'm gonna move his box. And here's his new home over here on this side of the road, up here by the stump. All I gotta do is uh, move his box over to here and then put up a box for my mail over there. And I've got a box, I'm just gonna try it. Don't have anything on the sides for him to hang on to, so. And the grandkids painted it, so let's, let's go look at it and I'll show you what I'm gonna replace it with. All right, here's that other box that I was working on. I put a coat of brown on it, uh, all the way over around. And then I put some a white over the brown. And then my grandkids came in and uh, wanted to know what I was going to do with this big box, this big brown and white box. And I said, well, I'm going to put a... A door on one side and um, maybe a couple of windows, you know, but I don't know, you know, I don't know how to paint them and what that. And they said, oh, well, I can do that. So they wanted to paint them, so I let them paint them. And uh, they actually look pretty good. This side looks pretty good. It's got a, I got a brown house with the doors and windows, brown roof. White House, I guess. And on the other side, my other, my grandson painted this one. My granddaughter painted the other side. You know, and it's got door and two windows. A little different windows, I think. Uh, this one's got the windows going up and down. What's that other one? Yeah, this one's got windows with X's. <laughs> That was my granddaughter. And so, uh, I said, yeah, hey. Uh, and they they asked me what I was going to do to the ends. I said, probably put a window or something. Well, my uh, granddaughter said, well, let's, I want to paint it. I want to paint something. So this is what she painted on this end. And, of course, most of that's going to be covered up by a post, but it doesn't matter. She still painted it, and it looks good. Claire and Steven, and, uh, and on the other end, Steven painting the other end while she was painting this end, I believe. I believe that's one. I don't know. One of the other painted this end and one painted that end. So anyway, I think being as how Woody is uh, taking over our other box, um, I believe I'm going to put that box right there up in place of Woody's box. Uh, just like it is. I, I, I love the way it looks. So. so I'm going to put a handle on it, put it up, move Woody's box to the other side of the road, and write Woody on the top of it, and just let him have it. Because he's, uh, he's so persistent, I guess I can't. You know, what can I do? I'm, I can't kill him, so, you know, who am I? Anyway, uh, that's my box that I'm fixing to put up on the uh, on the road for my mail. And I got to get my number on it and my little handle on it. And then, then we'll move Woody's box to cross the road for him. All right, I guess that's it for now. All right, excuse the wind. Finally... Give it to him. Move the mailbox or Woody's box over here to this side of the road. And then I put the other box that I was working on that the kids painted. I put it on the other side of the box for our mailbox. So, so Woody's got his own box now. He can pack all he wants. I even put his name on the top of it. So. If he gets mail, it'll be for Woody. <laughs> All right, I guess. I guess that's it for now. Good luck, Woody.